Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is going to be a tutorial on this intense pink, purple, glowy, glittery look. Like every, everything I've been doing lately has been like glowy, glittery and like really intense. And I'm not even mad about it because to be honest, I'm obsessed with how this look turned out. I really, really hope you guys like it as well. It is so like not a color that I would wear. To be honest, any color is like not a color that I'd wear. I, I typically gravitate towards like warm tones, neutrals, that kind of thing. So this is like a big deal for me right now. Also, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did use pretty much all drugstore products. Yeah, I think everything that I used throughout this video was like drugstore or affordable. So that's awesome as well. And also if you're wondering, yes, I do have contact stains. I don't know, I felt like switching things up. You guys might not like it. It's just like a one-time thing. I wanted to try them on. So yeah, that's what's going on with my eyes. Anyways, now that that's all out of the way, I really do hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button below. And with that being said, let's get into it. Alrighty, we are starting things off nice and up close today because I am going to be working with glitter. It's a lot easier to work with it and clean it up if you don't already have your base down. So to start the eyes off, I'm firstly going to prime. I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base. And to apply it, I'm just using the Zoeva 142 Concealer Buffer Brush. Now, if you want a really inexpensive dupe for the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, this is it right here because pretty much it's the exact same thing. I feel like that base is like the perfect match for my skin tone and it makes my lids look like so evened out and then my dark under eye circles are like boom. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and set that now. So I'm using the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and set the lids because it's so important to do this so that you avoid any type of like skipping of eyeshadows or just any difficulties when it comes to blending the eyeshadows out. So for today's look, I'm gonna be using a mixture of these babies right here. These are the NYX Ultimate Eyeshadow Palettes. I have the Warm Neutrals, no, Warm Neutrals, and this one is the Brights. So I'm gonna be using a mixture of these as well as the Morphe 35P palette. But to start things off, I'm just gonna go into the Warm Neutrals palette and I'm taking this shade right here and I'm using the Zoeva 228 Lux Crease Brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and run that through my crease. This is gonna be my initial transition shade. I can't say that properly, but yeah, just something nice to have in the crease so that when it comes to blending in those bright colors later on, it doesn't look too intense. The initial transition shade is all nicely blended into the crease now. So I'm gonna be taking this super bright hot pink shade right here out of the palette. And I'm just using the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush. And pretty much I'm gonna start building this color up in the crease. Now when it comes to applying super bright eyeshadows like this, especially a pink one, cause you don't wanna look like you've been punched in the eye, I definitely recommend grabbing the color on your brush, but really, really tapping off that excess product. That way it's a lot easier to build up the color to the intensity that you want it to be, rather than trying to blend out any shadow if you've added way too much. Another quick little tip that I have for you guys when it comes to applying these intense bright colors and blending them through your crease is to hold the brush at the end of the handle. It's such a simple trick, but I feel like it really helps to ensure that there's no like intense patches of color and that everything is nice and blended. And it just makes sure that you're not applying like too much pressure when it comes to blending that eyeshadow in so that everything can be nice and even throughout. Next up, I'm just gonna be taking this purple shade right here from the palette and I'm using the Zoeva 227 Luxe Soft Definer and what I'm gonna do with that is also blend it through my crease but not blow it out as far as I did with that hot pink shade. So far I'm liking how that's looking but I wanna add a little more darkness into the crease. So this is where I'm gonna be taking my Morphe 35P palette. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this shade right here down the very bottom. It's like a mauvey plum type of shade. And I'm just using the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush and I'm really gonna work that right into my crease. I'm just going back in with the previous brushes that I used to blend through that crease just so everything is, you know, obviously nicely blended together and is all seamless. 
So the crease work is pretty much all done. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a darker shade to the outer corner of my eye. So I'm just taking this matte purple shade. It's like dark, but it's also bright. And I'm using the same Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and work that into the outer corner of my eye. So what I'm doing first is just getting the placement of the shadow right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and blend everything out properly. So I know it looks like really intense right now, but I will be blending it out. So for the most part, all the shadows are now there, they're blended in. I can go ahead and further blend them in later on, but what I'm gonna do now is apply Apply the glitter so I'm using this one from eye candy cosmetics this one is in the shade I suppose sweet tart so pretty much what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pack that onto my lids and kind of blend it into that out of corner color and to apply it I'm just using the eye candy cosmetics liquid sugar glitter base so the brush that I'm using to apply that glitter is the Sigma F70 concealer brush and basically what I'm doing is getting it a little wet in that glitter base and then I'm dipping it into the glitter and then it pretty much just applies straight on like that. So taking the brush, wetting it, dipping it into the glitter and then applying it straight to the lids. Oh my goodness guys, do you see that? That is some intense shit right there. Okay, so it looks cool but I kind of want to blend things in a little more. So I'm pretty much just going to be going in like with whatever brushes I use. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. I can't talk probably. Whatever shadow is left on the brushes is what I'm using it to blend. And yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, work with those edges and make sure that everything is all nicely put together, you know? I mean, I knew that this glitter was gonna be intense, but this is just like another level. I'm gonna finish off the eyes a little later, but for now, I'm just cleaning off any fallout from that glitter that is on my face. So as you guys can see, I'm just cleaning up all the glitter that is on my face with a baby wipe. And this is optional, you don't have to do this, but I'm really defining the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm just using the baby wipe to clean out, to clean out, to clean up the corners so that it's all nice and sharp. I will be finishing off my eyes later, but now that my face is all nice and clean and free from all that glitter fallout, I'm gonna prime. So I'm using the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I love this primer because it makes your skin feel so smooth when you apply it. It does look a little bit crazy at first because it is like white, but it blends into the skin nicely, so it's all good. For foundation, I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. You guys know that I love this foundation, I swear. I need to like find another drugstore foundation that I'm obsessed with because I'm sure you guys are sick of hearing about this one. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that to my face and blend it in with a dampened beauty blender sponge. I am so obsessed with this foundation. Like this foundation honestly is everything to me and if you have not tried it, do yourself a favor and try it out because it's so good. Anyways, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and do some color correcting because the darkness underneath my eyes is just killing me. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. This one is a peachy toned corrector. So I'm just gonna take a swipe to each eye and then blend that out with the Models Prefer Airbrush Concealer Brush. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and conceal. So I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. Yes, another Wet n Wild product, but you guys, their stuff is amazing. So this one is in the shade Light Medium Beige, and I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes, as well as highlight my face somewhat. So I'm running it down the bridge of my nose, above my brows, and on my chin, and then I'm gonna blend it out with the Beauty Blender again. I'm gonna go ahead and set with the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder once again. Powder is honestly amazing, like legit. I have no creasing when it comes to using this powder. I've tried so many other ones, but this one takes the cake and is drugstore, so it doesn't hurt your wallet, which is awesome. I'm also just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with this, another one wild product. I swear guys, I didn't do this on purpose. It just kind of happened. But this is their Photo Focus Powder. My one is in the shade Warm Beige, and I'm just using a large Sigma powder brush to apply it to my face. At this point, this tutorial should be just a whole Wet n Wild tutorial because I'm gonna be using this baby. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche and I'm gonna be taking obviously the contour shade and I'm gonna go ahead and contour my face. So just my jawline, my cheekbones and also my nose. 
you know the drill. Next up, I'm just gonna bronze my face up. So I'm using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. That is such a mouthful, I swear. I just tried to say that like five times and I finally got it right. So yeah, I'm gonna be using this baby right here and I'm just using the Sigma F40 Large Angled Contour Brush. So I'm running this over the areas that I like to, you know, bronze my face up, which are pretty much my cheekbones and around my hairline. I'm gonna finish off my eyes now. So I'm firstly going to take this bright pink shade right here, the first shade that we used and I'm using the Zoeva 230 Luxe pencil brush and I'm gonna go ahead and smoke that out along my bottom lash line. I'm going in with this shade right here, the one that we used for the outer corner and I'm using another pencil brush. This is the Sigma E30 pencil brush and again I'm gonna run that along my bottom lash line but keep it much closer to help define the eye. I'm just tight lining my eyes with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in Baby's Gut Black. Because I'm not gonna be doing a winged liner for this look, I feel like it really helps to do this if you really wanna make sure that your lashes that you apply blend into your lash line. Next up, I'm just using the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara to give my lashes a quick coat. I'm going fairly, you know, generous on the bottom lashes and somewhat lighter on the top because I will be applying falsies. I feel like you don't have to go as intense when you're applying mascara to the top lashes as you need to with the bottom lashes. Now for falsies, you already know, Coco Lashes Queen Bees. I like, at this point, I don't even put them away and store them properly because I know I'm always gonna use them in my tutorials so they're kind of just like always chilling on my desk and they look a bit sad, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna be applying for today. And I'm just using the House of Lashes Lash Adhesive, the black one to apply it to make sure that it blends in nicely to that lash line. Alrighty, lashes are on. Oh my goodness, this is a look, honestly. I am, mm, okay, I'm not even done yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a little pop of highlight on that inner corner. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. This one is in the shade Precious Petals. And I'm just using the Zoeva 238 Luxe Precise Shader to apply that to the inner corners of my eyes. And I'm also just going to apply some to my brow bone, you know, to make it all pop in. The eyes are finally done, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of the makeup. So I'm firstly going to apply some blush. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Super pretty blush, really easy. It goes with every single look, I feel, and it's not too intense, which is good because you know, we've got a lot going on in the eyes, so we don't want anything too crazy on the cheeks. Moving on to highlighter, I'm just using, again, the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter. You know, I love this stuff, and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills A23 Highlighter Brush. Legit, this brush makes any highlighter look good. Now for lips, I'm firstly going to line them with the Essence Lip Liner in number 11 in the Nude. I'm going to line them with this and also fill them in as well. And then for my lip color, I'm using another Essence product. This is their lipstick in number 15 oh so matte honestly don't sleep on these essence lipsticks they are so good super inexpensive like crazy inexpensive and they apply really nicely and they just sit on the lips really well so now that that's all good i think i want to apply a gloss so i have here the nyx butter gloss this one is in the shade creme brulee i'm going to go ahead and apply that on top and then we'll be done Alrighty guys, this is the final look. Comment down below and let me know what you think of it. Honestly, I'm obsessed. It turned out even better than I thought it would and that always makes me really happy. So if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end and you're not subscribed, you may as well hit that little red subscribe button below so you can stay updated with all the videos that I post. As always, everything I used in this video will be listed in the description box below, as well as all of the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys wanna follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or Facebook, all that good stuff is down below. And with all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Stay glowy.